One of the ways in which humans differ from animals is in the way we eat. Um, so just about every animal on the planet, whether it's an herbivore, an omnivore, or a carnivore, uh, eats a very limited range of types of foods, usually one or two types of foods, and um, is content with those one or two types of foods, derives 100% of their nutrient needs from those one or two types of foods, and does not crave variety, does not look for to eat other types of foods. So if it's um, a lizard, a lizard eats insects and nothing else, it's whole life. The lizard is completely content with the insects it eats. The li lizard is nourished um, completely by the insects it, me it eats um, and, and everything is good. Same thing with uh, a cow, for example. Cows eat grass and nothing else. Grass provides the cow with 100% of its nutrient needs. Uh, the cow doesn't feel the need or the desire to eat other things other than grass, uh, it's all good. Same thing with carnivore like a lion. Lions eat zebras. The zebra pr provides the lion with 100% of its nutrient needs. The lion's happy and content and does not seek variety. Why is it that most humans are continually craving and seeking variety in the foods they eat? If uh, a typical person had pizza yesterday, they're not gonna wanna eat pizza today. They're gonna wanna eat something else. If they had uh, rice and broccoli and chicken yesterday, they're not gonna wanna eat rice and broccoli and chicken today. Why is that? So the reason why that is, is because most people, most humans, are not eating a species appropriate, evolutionarily consistent, optimal human diet. We're eating nutrient poor meals and not uh, satiating our bodies properly and fully, not providing our bodies with 100% of our nutrient needs from each of our meals. And so our, our body is telling us through that desire for variety to, hey, don't, go, don't eat the same nutrient poor meal that you ate last time. Eat something different in hopes that we'll eat something nutrient rich that will satisfy all our nutrient needs. But most of us don't do that. Most of us will go and continue uh, meal after meal with uh, similar nutrient poor uh, meals and our body's never satisfied, never satiated. Uh, we're always deficient in uh, one or more nutrients. And so our body's continu continually craving and telling us to, to diversify what we're eating, to eat something new and different um, in hopes that we're gonna eat something that's actual, real, nourishing human food. But as I mentioned, most people don't do that. So what's interesting is uh, people who have gone on a carnivore diet, which is the optimal way of eating for humans and does provide humans with 100% of our nutrient needs. Uh, what typically happens, this happened with me and it, um, it's happened with many other people who went carnivore. So you start off psychologically craving variety, especially when you're, you know, when you're switching from an omnivorous um, way of eating to a carnivorous way of eating. The carnivorous way of eating is very limiting. It seems very uh, strange and scary and threatening and intimidating uh, initially. <clears throat> and so you're, after decades of being used to craving variety and wanting variety in the foods you eat, uh, you seek that out as well. When I first started out in carnivore, I was eating uh, all different types of meats. I was eating fish and chicken and seafood and beef and pork and bacon and dairy uh, and eggs. And then as your uh, as time goes by and your body becomes more properly and better nourished because you're eating real nutrient rich foods and you're not eating inflammatory foods. Uh, so your your cravings and the types of foods that you um, that you want to eat narrows as time goes on. So after a certain amount of time, I stopped craving dairy and stopped eating dairy, cheese and milk and yogurt and so on and so forth. And then after a while, I stopped craving chicken and fish, um, pork for the most part, uh, to the point of where I am today, where almost four, four years into the carnivore diet, I pretty much crave only fatty red meat. So pretty much beef and lamb and that's it. Uh, I eat beef because it's easier to, to procure than, than lamb is here in the States, but I eat beef pretty much 99% of the time. That's what I subsist on. That's what my entire diet consists of is fatty beef. And it's mostly the same types of cuts. Again, even in beef, 
I'm drawn towards and I crave the cuts that are most nutrient dense and nourishing, which are the fatty cuts, um, such as short ribs, brisket, chuck roast, and so forth. And I add additional fat to, to that, not with short ribs because that contains a, a pretty good fat to protein ratio, but with chuck roast, uh, I'll add some fat. Brisket, I don't need to either because it has a lot of fat on it, but that's what I'm drawn to. I'm also drawn to and eat a pretty good amount of beef liver, um, also a very nutrient dense food. Um, so it's interesting that as you progress in a carnivore diet and you're eating what's evolutionarily consistent and appropriate and optimal for humans to eat and what humans have been eating and subsisting on and thriving on for millions of years, that's all you crave. So now I can understand how animals, how every animal on the planet and um, native uh, peoples, uh, groups of peoples, tribes, such as the Inuit, such as the Comanches, such as the, um, the Maasai and so forth, how they have a very limited diet um, most of the ones I mentioned are uh, almost predominantly carnivore or are 100% carnivore and they don't crave anything else. Uh, it's because we're finally nourishing our bodies properly. And so your body isn't looking for and asking for different types of foods because it's getting, it's receiving 100% of its nutrient needs from that one or two foods that you're, um, that you're consuming. So that's really the way to tell if you're consuming an optimal diet is if you're good eating the same food over and over and over again, day in, day out, every single meal, which is what I do now. I eat the same thing every single meal, every single day. I never get bored with it. I never get tired of it. I'm never tempted to eat other foods. Whenever I'm hungry, I feel like eating fatty red meat. So uh, if you're still craving variety, then you haven't yet gotten to um, the optimal diet for you, for your species. Um, so I would recommend keep tweaking, keep changing it around. You want to, uh, to be like every other animal that exists on the planet and to um, gravitate, gravitate towards, to, um, to want to eat, to crave the same uh, optimal species appropriate foods uh, that your species needs uh, in order to thrive and to be of optimal health. Uh, and that's what you'll want to eat every day.